Hello guys, uh, well, today I have been shopping for Christmas decorations. I have been tempted to get up for decorations now, but I thought I'll wait about another week because it's only the 10th of November. You don't even start I'd been calendars for three weeks, so I thought I'll hold back about a week or so. And I, I've been in a bit of a stress in the minute because um, as I'm sort of out of eye cloud, so I could pass on an old phone. Ah, uh, well, some early prep done, so. It doesn't get left to the 20th of December when I'm snowed under with work. Ah, well, I'm going on a bit of a different walk this afternoon to my normal morning walk, so you would sit shaking it with the way I was holding my mini tripod. Um, I I've been on this walk for absolute um, ages. You know, it's certainly need enough winter weather now, now with um, the vetty candy coat weather, snood, gloves, the, the lot. So that I'm lovely and warm and all this like and actually I suppose it's not even winter yet it's only like the 12th of November Ah well, I'm wrapping up another present. This one's a present for myself. I'll show you why it is on Christmas Day. Ah well, time to get the Christmas tree up now. 16th of November, so I suppose it's acceptable. Well, I've just had to remove the old lights off the tree because I've got some new ones. These ones don't work. This tree was sold as a pre-lit tree, but it was hardly really pre-lit. It was like just when them ones are there, the wires folded down. But I thought, just so it's not unnecessary wires, I thought I'll take them off. I've been realised I've been missing some stuff. So I've popped out to B&M to then get some wrapping paper to wrap up another box to put next to my Christmas Eve box as like a fake present slash decoration kind of thing and <coughs> I need to get some batteries for new ornaments I bought last week from the garden centre because I accidentally bought the wrong ones last week Well, the decorations are finally up. Took about 24 hours on and off because I had to go out and buy more tinsel today. Aye. I have um, the tinsel around the middle. I was going to put some tinsel on the mantelpiece or perhaps um, around that frame. But um, I decided not to because um, 
I think once you start putting too much tin tinsel, like by sellotaping it here, there, and everywhere, it can start to look a bit tacky. So we have the Christmas tree, and I've decorated it with red, white, silver, a tiny bit of blue on top of some baubles, but I kept it with the red, silver, and white theme for the tree decorations. I, in the past, I've made a right mess, which I didn't really know about at the time, decorating Christmas trees. I used to just put a load of, like, all different character decorations on, um, without even thinking about how really you're meant to decorate a tree. You're meant to stick with a theme, so it looks nice. I've added my Christmas Eve box, and that is just a box wrapped up. Um, so, because my Christmas Eve box looked a bit out of place just by itself, um, under the tree. And then onto my top of my doors, we have my Toblerone Advent Calendar, and then we have these two ornaments. F1, you can't see it so well, but um, that's a snowman in a tree, and what's all on some berries. Oh yeah, you're just about to see where it is. It's Santa in the tree. Because um, it they looked a bit bit spacious, just with us to make them look more compact. I decided to put some tinsel around the bottoms of them. Decorate on more of a budget. I went to B and M and Poundland and got a um, tinsel. It was two quid in B and M for two beaters, or a pound in Poundland. Whereas in the garden centre, you look at normally looking about six quid for about a meter. And I've probably had about. I've got four meters of tinsel on the Christmas tree. I did leave um, tinsel off the Christmas tree first because I forgot to put it on. Then I thought, you know something, I'll put it on because when the tree lights aren't on, it can look a bit bare without um, tinsel. It can look a bit empty, like just for baubles, so... I put the um, lights on and then when it comes to the star on the top, sticking with the silver theme again, I got that from B&M for so about, I think it was something like six quid. And I might get some, I might save this till next year, yes I don't know some silver Christmas ornaments to go on that mantelpiece, yes. Ah, oh, well, anyhow, guys, thank you all for watching. Please drop a like, subscribe, and goodbye.